hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew thank you so much for being here i really appreciate your staying i'm glad that i'm back again and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started so here i'm going to use a5 paper size and um, this is rgb because i'm going to post it for social media and my resolution is 300 if you are going to print it then ensure that you change it to c m y k color mode so now what i'm going to do the first thing now i'm going to copy the color code which is this Ctrl plus C to copy, then go to your solid color, then Ctrl plus V to paste, and then I'm going to bring my resource file, then bring this one, then you drag it down. So here, as you can see, I have made the blur and the layer mask already so then the image i blow it by 30.4 and the next one i'm going to bring is this one and the blow size of this one here is 18.0 import this one then this one match the area i want it to be also this one is 18.0 so after all this one the next image i'm going to bring then import this image then click ok then you leave it at this position Then go back to your image resource file, import this image. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to soft lights, something like this. I blow it by 31.8, something like this. What I'm going to import now is this image. Then change the blending mode to overlay something like this then the opacity is already reduced what i do there is i reduce the opacity to 72 but i'm not going to do it again because already it has been applied so for you to see it when i reduce it to 72 then you can see how it will look like okay so on this one i'm going to increase it back to 100 percent then if you don't want it this way then you can reduce it to the same 72 something like this then or if you want it to be 27 then you can reduce it to 27 any way you want it but i want the picture to come out a little so i'm going to increase it at least let me use 70 percent so so that it will be like this the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to grade another line over here then go to your color and i'm going to copy this color code here then ctrl plus v to paste something like this okay so having done this one now the next thing i'm going to do is to bring my tests and i'm going to copy this one here ctrl plus c to copy then go to your resource file and i'm going to bring this logo reduce the size then drag it up then I'm going to position it over here. 
then select your test tool or you press T on your keyboard then Ctrl plus V to paste then change the font color to white and I'm going to change the font to Helvetica then make it bold and I'm going to reduce the font size this way then take it closer all right something like this then go back to your test again and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one and i will drag drag this one over here highlight it ctrl plus v to paste Ctrl plus A to align, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect, something like this. Then go back to your test again, and I'm going to copy this one here, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, and I'm going to paste it, Ctrl plus V, then increase the font size this way, then go back to your test tool. And I'm going to change the font to play fair display. So now I'm going to select the background. Hold your shift key while you select it and then you group it. And I will rename it as the background then also group this one and rename it as the heading okay now then go to your effects then select your gradient overlay you can see this background color here so i'm using this gradient overlay color so here are the codes I'm using. So you can see the code here. Okay. Then I'm going to leave this code in the test tool. I'm going to drop in the description so that you can copy from it. Then I'm going to click OK to apply the test effects. Then select your test tool again and I'm going to copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font of this one to helvetica then make it bold bring it over here then i'm going to copy this test effect over here then to this place then i'll drop it now double click on it to open it and i'm going to apply a drop shadow to make the distance six and the size eight then leave the opacity at 100 percent then you click ok now you can hold your alt key and drag it over here to apply the test effects something like this okay so i'm going to rotate this one before then then i'm going to copy my test here ctrl plus c to copy then this is the test effect i'm going to use over here then so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to double click to open the smart object. Now select your test tool, then highlight it. Then you can replace this test. Now select and highlight it. Ctrl plus V to paste the, your test. Now drop your test tool and reduce the font size. something like this you reduce the font size 
okay having done this one now then i'm going to close it then say yes to apply the test effect so while we wait for it to load you can now see the outcome of it then go to file then go to export then export as okay so we wait okay now i have already done that so i'm going to import import it now so go to place embedded then here it is then i will import it then increase the size then i'm going to select this test over here then i will rotate it this way and increase the size of the test something like this then select it all together and i'm going to take it up around here then leave it at that position then on this one i'm going to increase the font size then increase it why i will take it up around here then something like this then control plus zero then to see the outcome of it okay now i'm going to group this one then you can rename it as you want then centralize it okay all right so now that we are done with this one so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to create a rent angle line something like this then open your test here and i'm going to copy this test effect here then down to this one then select your test tool and come over here to copy your test ctrl plus c then ctrl plus v to paste and over here i'm going to change to this font here then select your font then here is the font the posting now change your font color to black you can now increase the font size now position this one over here then reduce the size of this rectangle then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate and i'll move this one over to the right like this then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it up over here then you bring it down like this and i'm going to increase it this way now hold your shift key while you drag it down like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate it hold your shift key and you drag it up this way then i'm going to zoom it then this way it's okay now right click and clear the layer style so this is what you will have and i'm going to copy this color code here then double click on the layer then ctrl plus v to paste the color then you can zoom out now i'm going to draw another rent angle then i'll take it from this position down around here 
then I'm going to zoom out to see the height something like this is okay so now in this case what I'm going to do now I'm going to zoom in then I'm going to select this one hold your shift key and I'm going to move it up this way then I leave it to create enough space now hold this one click on this one then hold your control or your shift key while you click on this one then hold your shift key then and reduce the size reduce the size to great a space then click on this rectangle hold your shift key to great a space Then I'm going to hold my control, then press zero to zoom out and see the outcome of it. Now it's okay. Then I will zoom in again. Then click here on this rectangle, right click. Then I'm going to click on this queue. Now I will drag it this way, like this. Then bring this one over here then and i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate hold your shift key while you drag it out then use your arrow key so bring it closer Hold your shift key then and I'm going to take it over here to centralize it. Alright. So having done it this way, so the next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going back to my resource file, then I'm bring this image. Now reduce it. Then position it like this. Right click, then create a clipping mask. Then you will have something like this. Then I'm going to rasterize on this image. Then hold your control plus shift key and press U. Then to desaturate it like this. Now I'm going to select this layer and bring this image reduce the size rasterize it hold your shift plus control and desaturate it then apply a clipping mask so do the same thing to the rest Okay, so we are done with this one. The next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to select this image right from here. Then I'm going to group it and rename it. There is something I would like to remember here. So on this one, then I'm going to remove this shadow here. Hold your Alt key while you apply it to the rest here. It's okay now. The next thing now, then I'm going to bring this light here. Reduce the size. Then change the color, the blending mode to screen. 
and rotate it this way. I will still reduce the size. Then I will position it over here like this. Then I'm going to apply blur, Gaussian blur. Then I think 12.5 will be okay. If you want to increase the size, then you can still increase the size. Then I'll click OK. Then duplicate it. Control plus J to duplicate it. Then I'll move this one over here. Control plus J to duplicate it again. Then I'll move this one over here. So something like this, as you can see it. Then Control plus zero. Then I'm going to bring this light over here. Change the blending mode to screen. Then go to your blur, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then something like this 12.5. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll bring this light over here and I'll position it around here. Then apply layer mask. Then select your brush or press B on your keyboard. Something like this. All right. Then I'm going to group this one as lights. Then I'm going to zoom it in. The next one I'm going to do now, I'm going to grade another rectangle around here something like this then i'm going to apply red color then draw ellipse to that is cycle like this then i'm going to change the color of this one I'll make it dark this way, then duplicate it, hold your Alt key like this, then I'll change this one to white like this, then you can increase it, then I'll position it over here. This way. Then Ctrl plus J. Then before then, I'm going to select this one, add it to it. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And I'm going to move this one around here. Then this one, I will drag it over here. Then I will select the two and bring it down this way. I will also draw another rent angle over here. And I'm going to drag this effect to that place. That is on this one. Reduce the size. I like it. Ctrl plus A, apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to copy this test here. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I will change the font to Helvetica. Then make it bold. Then apply this color. 
reduce the font size something like this now I'm going to to copy this text here that is the name of the pastor then select my test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and i will change the font color to white then reduce the size position it over here then ctrl plus j to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate it and i'll move this one over here then you drag it up then i'm going to copy this one here then ctrl plus v to paste something like this okay now i will select on this layer here and i'm going to bring this image reduce the size then create a clipping mask select on this layer and also import this image reduce the size then place your image on top of it then reduce it the way you want and create a clipping mask something like this after this one so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to create my dates then import the icon reduce the size then i will position it over here then ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then i'll drag this one over here to give me white background then select your test tool and i'm going to paste my test and i will increase the size like this then I'll place it over here. Then go back to your test to copy it. Then select your test tool. Then I'm going to paste it. Then bring it over here. And I will reduce the size of this one. Then select the two together. And I will drag it down, position it around the end. Here is the dates. Then go back to your resource file. And I'll bring this icon for the time. Reduce the size. Position it wherever you want. Then Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Come over here to copy your time. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus J to duplicate these two here. Then I will drag this one over here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Select this one while you reduce the font size something like this now i'm going to copy the location then go to your resource file and bring this location icon reduce the size like this i'll bring it down here then Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Then drag it over here. OK. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. 
and now I'm going to close the, the character spacing that is the space I'm going to close the space and I will drag it over here then for the dates and time Ctrl plus G to group it and here is the time all right so these two now the time at the date i'm going to drag it down to balance with this one then i'll click ok something like this then you can increase you can increase it it's okay like this then i'll use my arrow key then to bring this one closer something like this now go back to location why i will use my arrow then to move it this way we are done with this one as you can see now so the next thing i'm going to do is to group this one here is the pastor and i'm going to rename this one as the speaker so something like this then i'm going to select on this minister the light and the speaker then i'm going to bring it down by using the arrow key to bring it down this way it's okay all right now i'm going to this pastor again over here and i'm going to duplicate this light effect Control plus J to duplicate it then I'm going to drag it at the top here then move it and I'll place it over here then this one you can increase the size let it be at this position so that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for watching please if you like this video remember to share then subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i'm going to upload another new video and also don't forget to join my membership channel also and the fiverr account so if you want to purchase any of my flyer then you can go to the fiverr account then make your purchase order and if you want to create your own fiverr account then you can click the link below in the description to create your own fiverr account and then you can also click on the Two body link there to also create your own two body account by optimizing your youtube channel thank you so much i really appreciate for your staying and i'm very 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 grateful to you guys thank you there is something i forget and i would like to do that before i stop so which is the name i forgot to indicate the name here so I'm going to copy these names which are here already. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I will go back to this um, list here. That is the ministers. Then I'm going to select my test to the Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to black. 
then reduce this font size then ctrl plus j to duplicate it then ctrl plus v to paste then ctrl plus j to duplicate it So that is all. Thank you so much.